China's economic recovery is facing a critical test as the nation awaits. Right, and preliminary estimates suggest that economy's recovery remains precarious still. Have you ever wondered about China's incredible growth? How did they elevate millions of people from poverty? And can they sustain this momentum? What lies ahead for the world's second largest economy? Stick around to find out. In 1980, under the leadership of Deng Xiaoping, China initiated an audacious journey, opening its doors to the world. This bold move set the stage for an extraordinary transformation. Shenzhen, once a modest town near Hong Kong, emerged as a linchpin of this grand change. How did this unassuming town skyrocket to become a global powerhouse? The answer lies in the special economic privileges granted to it, unleashing its power for trade with the outside world. As the years unfolded, Shenzhen's story mirrored China's meteoric rise. In 2018, it surpassed the GDP of its neighbor Hong Kong, marking a dramatic shift from its humble beginnings. This was not an isolated event. Hundreds of cities across China China experienced similar economic booms as the nation's reforms spread far and wide. The impact was profound, pulling millions from the clutches of poverty and reshaping the global economic landscape. But with such immense growth, questions arise. Is it sustainable? What lies ahead for this transformed nation? The answers, shrouded in uncertainty, are essential to understanding China's remarkable journey. China's journey from a struggling nation to an economic giant has indeed lifted millions out of poverty. This transformation didn't happen by chance. It was carefully crafted through a combination of factors. The key to this remarkable change includes extensive investments in infrastructure such as roads, bridges and factories which paved the way for job opportunities and improved living conditions for many. Furthermore, China's focus on education played a crucial role. A more educated workforce became a powerful tool in driving economic growth. China's remarkable economic growth has been truly marvelous. It transformed the relatively small town of Shenzhen into one of the world's most economically influential cities. However, the question arises, were the expectations of constant and rapid growth realistic? This unceasing growth had unintended consequences. When a country becomes accustomed to such high-speed progress, various aspects of society come to rely on it, continuing indefinitely. These high expectations led to investments in massive infrastructure projects, and entire cities constructed on the belief that China's economy would keep surging. Unfortunately, the reality was far more complex, resulting in empty cities and unproductive investments in certain regions. That belief in constant growth led to risky projects that struggled to materialize. China's economic growth has unexpectedly slowed to around 5%. This sharp drop from double-digit growth to 5% may not seem like a crisis, but it's part of a decade-long trend. China's rapid growth was like a rocket, but now it's gradually losing altitude. The real issue is that expectations and plans were built on the assumption of rapid growth. China's economic policies, government investments, and individual choices were based on the belief that this high-speed growth would continue. Imagine planning your life around hefty annual pay raises, and then they slow down significantly. It affects everything, from your expenses to your savings. This is why China's still strong growth rate has become a concern. It's not just about where they are now, it's about where they thought they would be. High past expectations have led to today's economic challenges. China's big assumptions drove massive investments in infrastructure and real estate, with the belief in never-ending growth. The expectation was that cities would rapidly expand, but this overzealous outlook led to the creation of ghost cities that remained empty for years. Some eventually became inhabited, but debt and spending were tied to these assumptions. 
the problem arises when expected growth doesn't happen, leading to severe consequences. Local governments heavily invested in projects funded by debt, assuming rapid population growth. When growth slowed, these investments became risky, raising questions about the economy's sustainability. Stick around to find out if China's incredible rise is truly sustainable or based on shaky assumptions and expectations. China's debt situation is complex, with various threads forming a crucial role. The national debt, what the government owes, accounts for about 77% of the country's total economic output, or GDP. While not too alone, alarming when compared to some other nations, it's only part of the story. Provincial debt adds more complexity as provinces in China lack the power to print money and have easily borrowed for local projects, especially infrastructure. Provincial debt estimates vary, making accurate tracking challenging. State-owned companies also play a significant role, taking on substantial debt for projects like the Belt and Road Initiative, which haven't always gone as planned, contributing to a staggering national debt burden, roughly 300% of the country's GDP. Additionally, household debt, particularly tied to real estate, is a major concern, potentially raising China's debt problem to as much as 360% of its GDP. The situation is further exacerbated by deflation, posing challenges for the world's second largest economy. Real estate plays a central role in China's economic structure, with a significant boom marked by sprawling cities, new developments, and grand projects. However, beneath this prosperity, a complex issue arises. Numerous grand developments, often termed ghost cities, were constructed with the anticipation of a substantial influx of residents. This over-optimism and aggressive construction have led to a real estate bubble. Some cities remain largely unoccupied, presenting substantial financial risks. Even major real estate players like Evergrande are not exempt, as they heavily invested in ambitious projects, accumulating considerable debt. As their financial stability becomes uncertain, there is a risk of influencing the entire real estate sector and, subsequently, the broader economy. These real estate troubles extend beyond China's borders. This optimism led to monumental investments in projects that relied on double-digit growth rates. It resulted in constructing entire uninhabited cities, provincial-level debt explosions, and risky real estate endeavors. Now, as economic growth slows and debt levels soar, China faces consequences from these ever-optimistic assumptions. The debt-to-GDP ratios pressure financial stability. Despite seeming beneficial, deflation can lead to reduced consumer spending, affecting businesses and growth. To stay informed and continue delving into global economic affairs, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Don't miss out on our upcoming content that will unravel more intriguing mysteries and insights. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey.